So welcome to spying on stores. Now this video is a little bit of a bonus, a little bit of an extra add-on for you, and I think you're really gonna like this. Now here's the secret sauce, okay? I'm gonna just, you know, pull these up for you. So what I'm gonna do really quick is just open up Google Chrome, and I'm gonna just type in myip.ms. Now, if you go to myip.ms, what I want you to do right down here is type in this particular number at the top. You're gonna type in 23 period 227 period 38 period 32 and you're going to do a who is lookup now this particular who is you're going to see the owner website is shopify.com but what you're also okay going to notice is that if you keep scrolling down a little bit wait for it here we go take a look at this okay there are 45,603 records and it shows only the first 10 records. Then we have website IP address changes for different sites. We have 1,000 sites over here. There's, there's about right over here, 45,603 sites. So we're gonna click on view all records. Now, <clears throat> this is huge, okay? This gives you the list of literally every Shopify store imaginable. This is huge, okay? So. If we take a look, we have Fashion Nova, we have Movement Watches, Yeezy Supply, Gymshark, um, we have ColourPop, uh, let's just see over here, we have Kylie Cosmetics, Shop Casey Neistat, uh, there's literally so many stores that you can go out there and just type in. Now, if I click dog, let's just see if, if anything pops up if I click dog. So I click dog, I click search, and then right over here, what do we have? We have this right here, we have uh, storedogdog.net. Now let's just go to storedogdog.net. All right, so here we go. Now we have storedogdog.net. We just literally found these people's Shopify stores. All right, and again, you can just go in and try your niche as well. But here's where the magic happens. Here's where the magic happens, ready? Once we find a site, we're gonna go to similarweb.com. All right, so similarweb.com. Now, similarweb for example purposes does not give you everything you need. So don't think it's the end all be all. Similarweb is just a good spot for you to take a look at related sites. So if you click search, you just type in the store with .com, .net, etc. You're going to be able to go out there and take a look at the traffic. Again, these traffic stats, I'm not going to say they're 100% accurate because again, more than often they're not. However, what you can do is you can take a look at the competitors tab and it'll tell you competitor and similar sites it'll tell you if there are competitors and their sites but like i said this is just something for you to just do uh, some quick research on we have a lot of stores that we can go through in the dog niche so let's just go ahead and say we're taking a look and seeing that youtube and facebook are their top um you know particular traffic sources but let's just say that we found the site that we want we're actually gonna type this in, okay? We're gonna to go to the store and type in at the very end slash collections slash all question mark sort underscore by equals best hyphen selling. And we're gonna click enter, all right? Now take a look at this. What we have over here, and again, they have the best sellers at the top, which is funny, but if they don't have best sellers, we can take a look at exactly what their best sellers are just by typing in this little string of code. And this is how we do our research. This is literally how we do our research. Nothing complicated at all. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna paste this right below this video so you have exactly how you can do the actual research. Now let's try elephants, okay? Did I type that? Nope, elephant. Oh, now I'm gonna click search. I don't even know if uh, it'll pull up anything elephant. Um, so here we go, drunk elephant. Let's just take a look at what we have. Drunk elephant, all righty, drunkelephant.com. Now, they don't have top sellers over here, so we're gonna type it in ourselves. We're gonna type in the best sellers. So we have the day serum as the best seller. Let's just take a look at more of them, all right? Elephant stock, the elephants. Again, because we're in elephants, so you know, why the heck not? So right over here, we're just gonna go open this up, okay? This is pretty dang cool, very, very useful as well for those of you who want to learn how to spy on your competition. Very powerful stuff here. So again, I don't know why I just uh, reopened that, so I'm just gonna copy and paste, okay? There we go. So 
again, we have two sites. You can take a look and do your hardcore analytical data and research. Take a look at their best selling. Why don't we? Because you know what? We're here. Why not? You know, elephantstock.com. And then we're taking a look at the best sellers right over here. <clears throat> and now we see these pants, these elephant harem pants are their best sellers for 20 bucks and so on. Now, if we go again right over here to this site, we take a look at their best sellers. Now, this beach canvas, all right, elephant stock, which is interesting to me because, all right, let me just click on collections all. All right, products, we could take a look at all of these particular products that are in their best seller. So if we take a look at the beach, all right, collections, beach, let's just see if we go sort all best sellers, all right, so page not found, that's fine. I just want to see if it'll sort it just by going out there, all right, so again, as you can see over here, I think they have something programmed where it doesn't show the exact products, but over here, you can just take a look that they have a lot of different uh, wall art over here. They just tell you straight up. Hey, these are our top products come and buy them So again, that's how you spy on your competition It's very very simple to do so very powerful to use as well and the codes and all the you know fun sh Stuff that you need will be right below this video enjoy it use it wisely and don't really share it with anybody It's super super powerful. So again, I'll see you in the next video